Uh, I can hear there's something going on there with my nails and uh, need to fix them up again. They do get a little worn if you play daily or if you don't play. <laughs> Depends on what you're doing. Uh, I want to keep them, I want to first check you know the length, the overall length. They don't need to be longer than if you look at your hand from above like this. They only need to stick out just a little bit above the fingertip. At least that's fine for me, because you do want to use nail and fingertip, not only nail, because then you you probably wind up with a very shallow or thin tone, or too bright of a tone. So I check with one of these files first, you know, there's two sides, one heavier. There's some discoloration here for some reason, but it's still clean. Um, I get the shape well rounded. Also, I want to get under the nail like this and get this shape also. You know, it's kind of straight and smooth. So there's nothing that can catch on to a string. So now I have it rounded like this and I have a nice smooth edge below here. And I have on the finer side, you want to get out all the way to the edge. So you can use your jeans or something to brush it off. Um, this one is a little bit too long. You want to be careful with these because you can easily take away too much material. That wouldn't be good, you know, it takes a while for the nail to grow out. Again. the underside like so ring finger same thing mm -hmm. uh, thumbnail and pinky uh, usually just leave them and uh, keep them sort of in line with the others just for aesthetic reasons, I tend to use only thumb pick or the flesh hair on the side these days. No more thumbnail and the pinky I don't really use anymore. I had a flamenco period when in the 90s when I used some of the nail for doing things like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the overall shape looking quite okay now so then you move on what I usually have is one of these uh, this one I like this one because this has three different uh, grit whatever you want to call it first one even out second smooth and then shine or polish or buff and uh, the problem with this, I can't find them anymore, and this is getting pretty worn out. So today I'll be using this one, and this has um, four steps. You might need, not need four steps. I usually skip the course one here. Go directly for step two here. Uh, the reason I don't like this is because this edge makes it difficult to get under the nail. You under that, the underside, and then the edge, and just a little bit on top. Step three. I 
and what we love of course is the buff now the shine here that's where the real magic happens it's like polishing a car yeah it's lovely Can you see the results And when it comes to nails, you can really hear the results as well. You can feel it. It feels wonderful to play guitar when you have really highly polished nails. Trust me. So. Thank you. 